Hey everyone, John Henry here from School of Trade. Today we're gonna to be taking a look at a long trade here on crude oil. I got my limit order filled, 45.78. I'm gonna drop my stop down here at 66. Let me get the stop on there. Now the overall objective to the upside is really kind of twofold. I'm looking for us to come back up towards the highs. We found resistance off of that 45.96 to 45.99, very obvious resistance inside there. So I wanna make sure that I at least take some off in that area, um, probably right on, on top Top of that uh, that 96 area in that area uh, you know I'll go ahead of it a little bit but the main objective really is just to see the buyers go back up to the highs uh, now I would love to see them go back up to the channel highs and that would be a very nice target uh, to the upside but overall right now the channel high and the high of day both line up in the same place so I will go to 4603 for that final objective up there so everything lining up really well we've seen the morning session very very strongly up uh, after a little bit of a sell down over the weekend. On Sunday, we opened up and just got hammered lower, but we really couldn't get any continuation off that drive down before the buyers started showing back up. And we can see that they're respecting uh, very well, in fact, this larger channel, right? So we have this larger channel working its way up through there. Beautiful bounce off on top of that. Uh, and the highs are lining up quite well uh, as well. So lots of things lining up in the same area telling us to become buyers. Now, I like buying at 45.78 instead of all the way up at the highs, primarily because in this case, this ended up being a huge bull candle and I really don't want to buy all the way up here. So I'd rather buy the pullback uh, inside of that candle just to allow me to get in with a little bit of reduced risk as well as increasing the size of my targets. So that kind of gets things in line for me. So my entry at 78 is where I'm going to jump in here. So now we just have to wait for the buyers to either show back up or the sellers to take this back down. Either way, our stop is at 66 and our first target is at 93. Big strong bull breakthrough here. We get our first target filled without much of a problem and we're already pushing back into the highs. Let me get my stop adjusted here, back to break even. Let's see if they can fire through this area. There's likely a lot of sellers that'll have stops above here. Yep, and that's exactly where they were, perfect. So we get that breakthrough and we get all of the move back up again. Gorgeous run through those highs and now the buyers have filled their objective. Now, if they want, we can begin looking for this to correct back down again and continue this cycle. Uh, uh, and, you know, buy low, sell high, and just keep kind of going along with that. Overall, you know, zooming out a little bit, this could definitely be seen as somewhat of a range on the day. We really haven't gone anywhere. Uh, we started off Sunday with that big drive lower, couldn't really get anywhere, and you could definitely see the semblance of a range there. We break out higher, and we really don't get much higher above that Sunday open price and now we're right back in an area of targets again so we're not really seeing much movement in terms of a trend uh, so there will definitely be sellers up here looking to scale in and that may cause a move back down to the lows again but either way the buyers are out of the way we've got our targets on the upside for a gorgeous move up so that's going to do it for me if you have any questions about it feel free to send an email to school of trade don't forget to check out our trial at school of trade.com and as always we'll catch you next time